Welcome back. This is Mrs. Rubrate with Geometry Honors. Today's homework requ um, requested problems for 11.8 on page 778 to 779 in our geometry textbook were numbers 9, 17, 19, and 21. All right, so number 9. The surface area of one hemisphere. A hemisphere is half of a sphere. The surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. 4 pi r squared. The area of four circles is the surface area of a sphere. All right, so for a hemisphere, we divide that in half, right, because it's half of that. And then we have to add in the surface area of a circle because of the base being included now in the surface area. So um, pi r squared. 4 pi r squared divided by 2 is 2 pi r squared plus another pi r squared is going to give us 3 pi r squared. So that's how we would, that's the formula we would use for the surface area of a hemisphere, 3 pi r squared. So if the circumference of the circle, the circular base, is 9.6 pi inches, circumference equals pi d, or 2 pi r. So my diameter is 9.6, okay, which makes my radius half that. Half of 9 is 4.5. And half of 0.6 is 0.3, so it's going to give me 4.8, right? So my radius is 4.8. My diameter is 9.6. My radius is 4.8. So going back to the formula, 3 times pi times my radius squared equals. So 4.8 squared times 3 equals 69.12 pi. And they, um, did they tell me where to round? They did not, but they did estimate it. So we're going to take that times pi equals, and we're going to get 217.15. Approximately 217.15. Times pi times. The textbook gave the surface area of the hemisphere as 144.76. That is not correct because they didn't include the base. All right, so that's not, not the actual correct answer. Because they didn't include the bottom. But if they wanted just the arch, just the outside, not including the bottom, okay, so like say it's a cake and you're not icing, icing the bottom, then that portion of the hemisphere, and I feel that they would have to be more specific in terms of what they were asking for, and they would be on an ACT or SAT, then it would be 144.76, okay, 144.76. So number 17 gives you that the volume is 91.95 centimeters cubed, and they want us to find the radius of a sphere with the given volume, round to two decimal places. All right, so the volume of a sphere. So first we have to think, what is the formula for the volume of a sphere? The volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. 4 thirds pi r cubed equals 91.95 according to this problem. So we're going to multiply by 3 fourths on both sides. We are going to divide by pi on both sides. And then we have r cubed equals 90, 91.95 times 0.75 divided by pi. Take the cube root, and we get our radius. So now let's take our calculator. 91.95 times 0.75 equals, divide by pi equals, and we are going to cube root this, and we get 2.5. 
2.799976, round to two decimal places, 2.80. Two point eight oh centimeters. All right, number nineteen. The volume of a sphere is thirty six pi cubic feet. What is the diameter of the sphere? So once again, the volume of a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed, and in this case, they're giving us that as thirty six pi. What is the diameter? We're going to divide by pi on both sides and our pi's are gone. We are going to multiply by 3 fourths on both sides. And we get r cubed equals 36 times 0.75 cube root. The radius equals 36 times 0.75 equals cube root. We get 3. So if my radius is 3, my diameter is twice that, it is six. This is in feet. Six feet. Number 19, six feet. 21. Find the surface area and the volume of the solid. The cylinders and cones are right. Round your answer is to two decimal places. All right, so basically we have a cylinder and then we have a hemisphere. We have a hemisphere like dope. It's like it's kind of like um, concave on the top. So for the surface area, well, the surface area of a cylinder, um, a cylinder is basically like a piece of paper with two circles, right? Two circles. So like if I took this piece of paper, my cylinder has two circular bases and a rectangular face, right? So basically to get the area of this rectangle, it's length times width, but in this instance, it's the circumference would be this and the height, right? So circumference is two pi r. So two pi r times the height is gonna take care of this surface area. And then the basis plus two pi r squared plus the two circles, right? But in this case, we don't have the top circle, so we're gonna do plus pi r squared, not plus two pi r squared, right? Only the bottom. So we're taking care of this and this. Now to get this surface area, it's really the surface area of a hemisphere without the, the base. So not the total hemisphere, but just the domed portion of the hemisphere. So the area of a hemisphere is four, um, the area of a sphere is four pi r squared but it's a hemisphere, so we divide it by two. It's two pi r squared. So we have two pi r squared plus pi r squared, so we really have three pi r squared plus the area of the rectangle, two pi r h, right? So we have the area of the rectangle plus one circle plus a hemisphere, right? The dome portion, which is two pi r squared. All right, so, now, what did they give us? They gave us the radius, right? 3.3. .3. So 2 times pi times 3.3 .3 times my height of 7 plus 3 times pi times my radius of 3.3 .3 squared. 3.3 .3 squared times pi times 3 equals plus parentheses 7 times 3.3 .3 .3 times pi times 2 parentheses equals and I get that my surface area is four, or sorry, 247.7774126. So rounded to two decimal places, 247.78. These units were in inches, so inches squared, right? Surface area squared. Let's check, 21, 247.78 inches squared. So we're good so far. That's our surface area, right? Now let's deal with our volume. So basically we have the volume of a cylinder. The volume of a cylinder is the area of the base times the height, right? So pi r squared, area of a circle, times the height. That would be the area of a cylinder. Area of the base times the height. Or sorry, did I say area? I meant volume, the volume of a cylinder. And then we need to subtract out 
the volume of a hemisphere. So what is the volume of a hemisphere? Well, the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed, and we need half that. Okay, times 1 half, or divide by 2. So now plugging in our numbers, pi r squared times my height of 7 minus 4 thirds pi r cubed divided by 2. Okay, 3.3 cubed times pi times 4 thirds equals, divide by 2 equals, make it negative, plus parentheses, 3.3 squared times 7 times pi parentheses equals, and I got that my volume is 1. 164.217, so it's been around to 0.22. And this was in inches, and volume is always cubed. 164.22 inches cubed. 164.22 inches cubed, so we are perfect. And that was number 21. I hope you guys enjoyed the review of uh, the requested problems from 11.8. Please like and subscribe and have a fantastic evening.